Ever see your thermostat stuck on weight and wonder, uh-oh, is my AC toast? Before you panic or call in a repair tech, let's break down exactly what weight means and what you can do to fix it fast. All right, so when your thermostat flashes weight, it's not broken. It's actually protecting your AC. This short cycle protection mode usually kicks in for three to five minutes after a power loss or sudden shutoff. It's all about letting refrigerant pressures settle down before the compressor kicks back in. If you see recovery instead, that just means your thermostat's transitioning between program temperatures, like when it's scheduled to cool the house down after you've been away. Let's look at a real-life case that popped up online. Someone posted, My Honeywell thermostat says, Wait, and never turns on. The heat and fan worked fine, but after sitting all winter the AC just wouldn't budge. They swapped out the batteries, no luck. Finally they called a pro, and that's when things got interesting. Here's the step-by-step -step troubleshoot the tech followed. First, check power to the outdoor unit. Make sure it's getting 240 volts AC, use a multimeter, and please be safe. Second, check for 24 volts at the contactor coil. That's the low voltage signal from your thermostat. If your AC's not cooling and you're missing 24 volts at the contactor, especially on the yellow wire labeled Y, that's your red flag. Third, try jumping the R and Y terminals at the thermostat. This simulates a direct cooling call. If the system still won't start, now you're hunting for wiring or control board issues. So what did the text discover in this real scenario? The transformer was blown. It showed 120 volts coming in, but no 24 volts out. They swapped it out, got a new transformer in place. Boom, 27 volts. But then the fuse blew again. Turns out the yellow wire was shorting against a copper pipe near the compressor. That kept popping the fuse and leaving the system stuck on weight. Here's your final checklist. Replace the fuse if it's blown, usually a 3 or 5 amp on the control board. Check the thermostat wires for shorts, especially Y and C. Replace the transformer if you don't see 24 volts out. Double check your connections. Yellow wire is for cooling, blue or black is common, red is 24 volt power. And hey, if you press the contactor manually and the fan fires up, the high voltage side's fine. It's the control voltage that's missing. Don't assume it's the capacitor just because there's no humming. A new contactor won't help if you're not getting 24 volts to the coil. And if you're stuck on wait forever, take a close look at your thermostat wiring, especially outside near the unit. If you've checked the voltage, swapped the transformer, and looked over the wiring but still have no luck, that's when it's time to call in a pro. But now, you'll know exactly what they should be checking. And you'll spot anyone who's just guessing. So the next time your thermostat says, wait, don't stress. Take a breath, wait a few minutes, then work through this guide step by step. You might just save yourself hundreds on repairs. If this helped, toss me a like and subscribe for more real-world home fix guides. Ah. Uh,